Welcome back to All Around Fulton County as we look back at the big stories of the year 2009. And Steve Collins with me, editor here at the Fulton County Expositor and Swanton Enterprise. Um, tell me about some of the, the good news. <laughs> we just talked about the economy. Uh, there's a, uh, a fellow who's got a special car That's right. that he's developing and, and hope to produce some here in Fulton County. That's right. Doug Palmier uh, of Napoleon um, had developed uh, an engine. You know, uh, folks always dream of having their big 500 horsepower V8 Mustang <laughs> until they realize it gets about 12 miles to the gallon. If well, you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky. Well, believe it or not, uh, he's developed that same engine that runs on E85, the ethanol mixed uh, fuel, and gets uh, about 110 miles to the gallon. Um, he has recently this year located some uh, some more continued development here in Wauseon at uh, at a plant here in Wauseon. Continuing development on that engine, looking to do some small scale production, looking to shop that engine around uh, to some uh, to whoever will look at it. Um, it's a really exciting thing. The the project initially was not without its uh, skeptics and critics. No, you really th well, <laughs> people sure. were wondering. We're wondering how factual is this? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, primarily because Palmier wouldn't let the technology. He wouldn't explain his technology. Now, um, after his patents were secured on his technology, uh, about two months ago, released uh, released this engine's technology at the SEMA show. The one of the nation's biggest automotive shows out in Las Vegas and it's a, a, called a variable displacement system and it has a, a, a small electric motor not a true hybrid but does have a small electric motor and the variable displacement system means that that engine can run on as few as one of the eight cylinders at a time incredible um, so it as, as, as peak demand isn't needed as cruising speeds um, it's not the same piston. It's designed so that it alternates one piston at a time so that one doesn't get uh, unevenly worn or burnt mm -hmm. uh, too soon. But then the electric engine also cuts in to, um, during non-peak performance as well. So vastly reducing fuel consumption. So now that that technology is released, you know, continuing to shop that uh, project around, he already had, bef at the same time he moved to Wasan, he inked a deal with a company out of Indiana called Revenge Motors, who will be using his engine in their uh, their their cars and looking to shop that around to anyone who might be interested in using his engines or his technology in uh, cars of the future. So, so should he get a deal? Does that mean something for Fulton County? It it very well could. Um, I mean, he's he's already here. He's uh, set up here. So, mm -hmm. um, would one would only hope that should he get that deal <laughs> that. Uh, that that could mean jobs, much needed jobs for Fulton County in as production increases on this engine. 